what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? An airman from Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma is facing legal troubles after he tucked the police on a high-speed motorcycle chase. It all started when the trooper was on the side of I-35 in Love County, Oklahoma. He saw three motorcyclists zooming by doing 80 in a 70. So he gave chase. And boy, they were moving. They hit 120, 30, 40, got all the way up to 183 miles per hour. I thought they were gone. They were gone, but one of them decided to stop. And police handed him pretty greasy, put him in the car. This fool started crying. Family, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not one of those dudes who don't think that a man should cry. I think there are certain times in life where that's warranted, especially like the loss of a loved one, uh, any type of tragedy. And whenever you're watching a very emotional movie. <laughs> but come on, fam. This dude took the police on a high-speed chase. He's an airman. And he cried. The police captured him. He gave up and he cried. Why did he stop? He would still get the same amount of tickets no matter what. Why did he just why didn't he just keep going? I don't understand. Now here's something else, man. I wouldn't advise people to take the police on a high speed chase. Unless you're wanted for like a triple homicide and you don't see yourself beating the case or ever being freed from jail, go ahead and pull over. Now, this is coming from experience. I once took the police on a high-speed chase that lasted every bit of about 60 seconds because I ran into a dead-end street. <laughs> now, a lot of cats wouldn't even admit this, but I'm trying to hopefully give you some information that could save you. So I don't mind if I have to make myself out of a fool or say something embarrassing about myself if somebody else can learn from it. May even save your life. I call myself taking the police on a chase. I was in a 77 Buick Regal. It was a 77 and the year was... 85, the year was 85. So vehicle, what, eight year old vehicle. Anyway, it was in no, I, that vehicle was in no condition to be trying to give the police a chase. But of course me, I ain't, you know, I'm 18 years old. I ain't thinking about all of that. I'm smashing the gas, man. Oh, and I turned the lights off too. <laughs> Boy, I turned, I flipped those lights off and whoa, I was gone. Ran right into a dead end. And stopped, hands on the steering wheel. They came up and got me. Now, the trip part about it is back then, they wasn't just blowing people away for running from the police. Today, you're taking a huge risk with your life. If you take the police on a high-speed chase, especially if you're black. Well, damn near primarily if you're black. Don't do it, fam. It's not worth it. All I would have been charged for at that time was no driver's license and no insurance. That's it. 
So don't do it, fam. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. It's not worth it. If you decide to ignore this warning, don't say I didn't warn you. No more talk. What the mate is talking about. Yeah.